Hi, this is Brian from Paradise Arcade. I just wanted to show people how to install the new wheelos that we got in. Um, it, I apologize for any strobe effect. My son is out here and having fun with the lights right now. So, um, the new wheelos are uh, come in a couple different varieties. They come in just a white light. They come in a white with, uh, or they come in the RGB, and they come in a combination of the white and the RGB. Now. Um, we ordered these boards in and um, they're supposed to have little curves but there's like a little like half millimeter spot on each corner. Now if you leave those on, uh, if you look very carefully when you get the boards in, if you leave those on they'll actually press into the buttons and so you have to kind of take a pair of pliers and push them down in and they'll actually set into the buttons and stick there. Or what you can do is you can see that uh, in about half a second on each corner, literally, that's it, there's two done. Three, four, done. Um, the boards now just slide in. So you have that option of a uh, press fit or a slide in. So the button obviously needs to be taken apart. Pay attention to which direction the orientation of the, uh, the top and the micro switch are. Uh, the micro switches actually line up with the clips of the micro switches line up in the direction of the holes on the sides of the button. Then what you want to do is you want to set the button down. Now, um, if you look at the wheel, it's the wires come off in the center of each side. So if you just kind of set it down on the bottom and look, it's going to be in the middle of each of these. Now the nice thing about wires as opposed to pins, um, pins are really nice and they look good, but wires have some flexibility to them. The holes don't have to be as accurate. So you can literally take the, the wheel on without a template you just put a drill down on the bottom, start off kind of slow, get a little bit of plastic, and there's one. We go for the next one, two, next one, three. Now the reason I say to do this from the bottom is if you look inside the buttons there's little steps, and those steps are kind of hard to um, navigate with a drill. Um, the drill, if you just look at the size of the wires, you can do them that size. I'm doing this obviously quite oversized here. You can see these holes are much bigger than they need to be. Get a little bit of plastic on the inside there. We'll just take the handy dandy Leatherman, pull out the knife and give it a little tap on the inside here just to clean up those edges. There we go. And what you're left with is there you go, a button casing with four holes. Now to install the, the wheel in here, it's quite simple. You take the uh, micro switch out, and remember what we said, the clips go in line with, the, uh, with these detents here. Now sometimes if you drill the hole too close to the edge, you can get a little push of plastic. That's not a problem. The clips are pretty big. So all you have to do if that happens is just take a a knife or, or a hard object and just push the plastic back towards the hole. Um, you know, you're going to get stability one way or the other here. Uh, you just need to get the clips down over. See, um, even if you get a little push of plastic, the clips are about, I don't know, four millimeters wide and you really only need a, a two millimeter hole. So you should have engagement with good plastic. Then you just take the, the wires, okay, and here's the light show again. Um, and you thread the wires, you can see this down through each of these holes. So there's one, two, three, three, and the last one, we might have a, an assistant counter here, four. Um, use the wires, pull it down. Now you want to make sure that you get them in order, obviously, um, so they line up. And uh, I find it easy to, obviously I like the Leatherman, um, I find it easy just for pushing the, the wheela down in, uh, just for getting alignment, to use the, the Leatherman just to kind of twist it back and forth a little bit. Um, it will engage into the, uh, the bottom of the, the button, and there we go. That's it. So. Um, right now the, the wheel is installed in there, so just kind of slipped right down to the bottom. The wires, if you look at the bottom, you can give a little tug on them, make sure that there aren't any, there isn't any slack. Once you're done with that, 
you can just you take your cap and plunger assembly push that down in and you have a button that's all there is to it so um, you know and you know here's one of the white ones again if you if you don't take those little corners off and you saw that took all of about you know one second two seconds per corner to do and you can use um, any type of file it's the PCB material is very light and there's no traces near those edges where they are so it's very simple to do very quick to do if you don't take them off you saw how I was lining it up and pushing it down what you need to do is give the you'll end up having a let me pop this off here it'll be very tight going down in because these corners here are going to get stuck so you kind of have to get a nice set of pliers and push and if you work it down in it'll go to get it out when you're done you can actually because the micro switch is bigger even for the ones that you push down in if you give a little push on the micro switch there so that that clip is unlocked push on the micro switch there you can use this the base of the micro switch to push the wheel out and that's how you can change it. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I'd suggest installing a micro switch before putting them down on the uh, on the actual um, into the buttons, but that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, this is Brian at Paradise Arcade Shop. These are the uh, new wheelas, and uh, happy gaming. Talk to you later.